My name is D Smith. This is TQA Weekly. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at TQAWeekly.com. Go to my website, TQAWeekly.com, and you can interact with others on this episode, past others. Find other ways of subscribing, and of course, use the contact form to email me directly. And if you're already on YouTube, the comments box is down below. If you want to make this show better, go to patreon.com slash TQA Weekly and get these episodes 24 to 48 hours in advance of everyone else. Everything detailed in this episode is actually linked down below, including the show notes and the Patreon link. And for those on Patreon wondering why this episode is late, I had a blue screen of death I had to format. You can blame the NVIDIA kernel all you want. It is its fault, not mine. I actually do my backups, people, so I didn't actually lose anything but my Steam games, which, as we all know, Steam, I don't care. I just re-download them. Today's topic is about the single most annoying part of the mobile device ecosystem. Fanboyism. Maybe today I'll actually convince one person to stop doing it. So... What ends up happening is the reason why this show exists, this episode exists, is because an iPhone user dropped their phone and someone said, and I quote, it wouldn't have broken if you had an Android. And this entire discussion on what the feel of the phone should be when it costs $700 is what comes up to this really crazy thing. So for those who know me, I have an iPhone. Why do I have an iPhone is very, very particularly important. But let's just go and talk about that at the end because it has nothing to do with anything. Most high-end devices cost roughly the same price, regardless of the ecosystem, because people are not gonna pay one cent more than that price. That's how today's market works. All devices have cameras, whether they're good or bad is an entirely different story that has to do with the manufacturer of the phone, not the operating system. Every device can play games, music, movies, has applications to which most operating systems for the mobile device ecosystem have the same popular applications throughout. So regardless of which device you get, you're pretty much guaranteed to have Twitter, Facebook, Vine, YouTube, Netflix, and all that great stuff. All of these devices have security, whether it be device encryption, pin codes, passwords, fingerprint sensors, operating system updates, which usually is better with the more high-end devices as they're better supported on most of these platforms. And because we can accept that all of these devices have pretty much the same feature set, what really drives people up the wall is the fact, especially me, that somebody says an operating system will save the glass on your phone. So, first of all, I would like to point out that the glass used on an Apple device is actually known as Gorilla Glass. Now, Gorilla Glass will break on ceramic and on cement regardless of how strong it is and it is a lot stronger than a lot of the glass used on the cheap Android devices what really makes me laugh is when somebody else with another Android has Gorilla Glass 2 and says that their device is better because they survived neat token fact about Gorilla Glass that a lot of people don't know the smaller the screen the more likely it's going to survive I still rock my iPhone 5 because I don't need it for anything else than using it for music and movies and whatever. And it's never cracked because it's smaller. So there's less place for the glass to actually have points of failure. Bigger screens equal more likely to crack. It's just the physics of that kind of glass. But regardless of the kind of glass, because they're even coming out with different kinds of glass, there is a point where dropping it from a specific height onto a specific type of material will cause it to break, regardless of the, of the uh, operating system. So for those that want to know what each of these ecosystems are good for, keeping in mind that all of them handle music, movies, applications physically multimedia across the board without issue because you can find applications to do all of this 
if you're looking for device security, ease of use, which by the way, is very important for those that have a hard time even navigating Windows, multimedia support, prompt update acquisition, Apple's iOS is good for you. What prompt update acquisition is, is something that Android doesn't have, which is the ability to update every single device virtually at the same time, which is something that Android can't do currently right now that Google is pushing to have done immediately by shaming all of the manufacturers that don't put up all of the updates that are possible. If you like a phone that you like to tweak to your heart's content, that you can skin with any app that you want, that you can root, then of course, obviously, even if you don't necessarily have prompt update acquisition with the cheaper phones, Android is still good for you. It still does all the multimedia stuff that an Apple device can do. And quite frankly, the accessories in the house are normally cross compatible anyway. And if you can deal with the fact that your device may be insecure without updates, and maybe you can even root it, which is something a little bit more complicated for some people to be able to install vanilla Android and install the updates yourself, then you know what? Android is good for you. If you are a business user and just need a business phone with maybe some access to Android applications and BlackBerry applications, well then BlackBerry is good for you. And of course, if you like the seamless experience between your phone, tablet, laptop, desktop, and even yes, game console, Microsoft is your bet, but under no condition is the platform that is awesome for you, necessarily good for someone else. You'll be happier in the end picking an operating system that you'll be able to understand and use easily without any like long-winded explanation on how to use it if you just use something that is simple for you to use. So if you are a geek, then go and get that Android if you want. But please don't try to convince some older person or somebody who doesn't know how to use a mobile device to get a high-end Android that they won't be able to use. That's not how it works. And for those wondering on which side of the fence I sit, yes, I have an iPhone, but I also have a Nexus tablet and an Nvidia Shield portable, which means I'm just as much, if not more, an Android user as I am an iOS user. So freaking stop saying to people that your glass on the iPhone is weaker because they have Apple. It's the same glass. Get over yourselves. If you like this episode, like it. If you didn't, dislike this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to get more of these episodes. And of course, if you want to make this show better, go to patreon.com slash DQA weekly and become a patron. Have a great day.